Queen Rooney. PC presidential candidate has told his audience in Delta State that he does not want to mention the name Peter B. It will be recalled that the former Lagos State Governor met with the Niger Delta stakeholders in Delta State. He has continued to campaign ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Speaking to the large audience, Ashwa you said Atiku Abubakar has been running for the position of the president for many years. Atiku has been running for years, according to what he said. He should sit down. He said he should sit down. Hey, hey. If they tell you may go sit down now, your 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 Erukus go they cry. Oh. Speaking about Obi, Ashura just said the Labour Party presidential candidate has been giving wrong statistics. He said he does not even want to mention his name because it is a disgrace to him. The other one, he said Peter Obi thinks that statistics will go chop. To mention his name is a disgrace to me. Bola Tinubu tells his audience in Delta says, hey, hey. You can see this man. Oh. See this man. He, he go, he's, he no go talk better thing. Eh? Now, so, so, Obi and especially Obi, he, that will be a like, sweet to make you just talk about Obi. You can imagine this one will be, no, we already call it Agbaya. Now, be this one. Arrogantly delusional. <laughs> you just hit it. Simple, coincides, but deeply meaningful. Arrogantly delusional. If it is true, then the that he must be suffering from excessive hard drug intoxication. Obi will defeat you in Lagos the same way you got defeated in Iraq, Baji. Even God that created woman have never said mentioning name of people is a disgrace to him or abomination. Are you seeing what I am seeing? Hmm. Well, the same man that said he didn't want to hear people mention Funke Akidele name in his presence. Ugly old man feeling pompous. God will shame you very soon with all your money. See, person where we say old way say it's supposed to be talk of words of encouragement, encouraging people. No, he go the he is is the one who is always abusive. Among if you check all the all the candidates, is the one who is always coming to throw jabs, and his his supporters will be accusing other people. Where somebody who is supposed to be leading his supporters to do the right thing. Now is the one who is saying all manner of nonsense, and they will turn us around, turn around, and begin to tell you it is a Peter Obi. Obedience are the one insulting people. All talk about this candidate, that candidate with bad belly. Can this man Tinubu ever tell Nigerians what he has planned for Nigeria come 2023? He doesn't have good plan. It is a shocking surprise. Some people see take him seriously. Tinubu is not with his senses any longer. He is talking out of point. He can never miss Obi in any race, so let him just go and rest. This old man, Tinubu, what did you have for Nigerians, if you have any? 
Tinubu is hallucinating. Old man who does not want to respect himself with his ailment. He doesn't want to respect himself. If they come for an hour, he go say show social media. They won't give an heart attack. In fact, Tinubu, your mouth will fail you. We see what a fool Bola Tinubu, the drug peddler, is. No doubt, he's feeling like a small god and can talk down on other candidates because he, of his dementia. I presume he talks down. If this one, hey, hey, this man no go good. Is he no go good with power? He ain't with power no good at all. This pampa wearing fellow is talking. He's taking the place of God. Surely, he will be humiliated by Peter Obi at the post. Obi trust in God. Why you trust in your money, mouth and corruption? Ugly old man, feeling pompous. God will disgrace you come night, uh, come next year, 2023. This Sinumbu is a criminal and a drug dealer. That is why he talks without thinking. When a presidential candidate does not know and work with statistics, when the country is intent, it intends to preside over, is in trouble. If he wins, Nigerians will really be in trouble. With this kind of leader, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Sinumbu is confident of two things. One, rigging. Second, corrupt judiciary that him and Buhari always used to intimidate others. Don't panic, my dear Nigerian people. Always remember that what happened the time of Saul and David is exactly what we are seeing now. We'll be dirty forever. Even if we fail, we'll rise obedient forever. So shameful that you couldn't even utilize the little opportunity you have to pass across useful messages across rather attacking personalities your campaign should be issue based not on you running not on your running mates you want uh, you that are uh, suffering with a dilapidated brain hey where is far better than tinubu baba drug you have nothing to offer you are the worst disgrace running for president imagine behaving as if uh, you are the president already just like uh, this man said mm. Babache Lawa, Buhari and his administration will be a miracle celebration to what Tinubu will turn Nigeria into. God forbid bad thing that Tinubu will rule Nigeria after Buhari. Because he will be talking anyhow. He will be running down on, on everybody. Bola Tinubu does not know that campaign has gone digital. He still maintains old system of gossip and exchange of ways. Exactly. Because this one is a gossip as in, saying they do. Chai, when adults behave like a child, what we used to do when we were kids, you wouldn't even want to mention the name of a person you are not in good terms with. Can you believe this? Who would have believed 30 years ago that a convicted drug baron will be campaigning to run Nigeria? A dubious man parading fake identity who doesn't even know how to earn legitimate income out in public to insult those with a track record of diligence and hard work, and there are people following him because of his illicit cash. What a country of black monkeys. You are already a big disgrace. Look at a proud thief and drug lord wants to lead sane people. Nebuchadnezzar, this is really terrible, honestly. Yeah, he said that this one, I did yan, I did yan, all this kind of thing. Old man, I did yan, all this kind of thing. You know, this kind of thing I was supposed to the year this man they talk. He can even hear article the yan or pata the yan, bra, 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 bra. Ah, ah, wait, see. Wait, see. Hmm. Well, the man who hates every enterprising and pragmatic future leaders want to lead Nigeria. Shame on you, Tinumbu. People there are laughing at home and clapping for him for the money he released, thinking he's a support. He go make you okay, vam vamus or something. P uh, pride we kill this man. Last last, Tinubu talks with over bloated pride and arrogance like a typical drug lord. He's shameless and mannerless. He's shameless and mannerless. Yes, light and darkness can never see each other. Jagaban is fast depleting. What remains of his doubtful identity and lame integrity. That is why we expect you to come for debate, sir, to help us on Max Peter B so that we really can know the least that he is. Please show up the show up in the next uh, debate. Best way they run for debate. We can't talk now. Can't talk your statistics now.
hey, go and change your diapers, Oga. Do you think Nigerians will vote for same fifty case? <laughs> Our comedian, well done, Otinubu is too proud. He's too proud. That's it. He man too day proud. Oh. So guys, we party. It's so um, so shameful. <laughs>